So this one's called Is There For Live? And uh, what I mean by that is like, it could also expand it to like the universe and stuff. So like for me, is there like a living being? So it like, it's conscious, it thinks, it feels, it, it's like a real, like a living being. And we could all just be part of that same being. Like it could be like a, a super kind of being and we could just be like expressions of its consciousness or we could also be part of its, its being like uh, so like obviously we're no dead we've went astray because we're like we're all meant to live in harmony with the earth and the universe and stuff obviously I'd say humans have strayed for that but I think in general like it's like Every, every creature's here for a reason, every tree, every plant, humans. I think we're all connected to the earth and the earth's connected to us. And uh, it, it kind of ties in with like the, the kind of, like a Japanese philosophy as well, that, that everything is a being, everything has consciousness, everything has a spirit. So whether it be like rocks or trees or plants or animals or the water like all kind of stuff like all different things everything's conscious and has a spirit so like the japanese they, they used to say like the you'd have the like the water spirit like spirits of the river spirits of the forest or things like that and i suppose you get that in all different cultures as well like scotland's got a few like the kelpie and the that like the water horse and stuff like that and uh, even like back when the druids and that were about again it was all about like Merlin and stuff like the spirits of the forest and so I'd say quite a lot of cultures if not most have have that kind of thing about things being alive and conscious and even if you think I mean like we're all like we are made, like they say, we are made of stars, we are made of atoms, so we are made of the same stuff that the Earth is, and the Earth's made of the same stuff that you, the universe is. So we're all made of the same stuff. So, is there any reason why the Earth wouldn't be conscious or be alive, and we are? To me, like it's, it seems plausible that everything is conscious and everything is alive. And obviously, like the earth is alive and it'll go through cycles and it like it, it's born and then it lives and it dies just like we do, just like everything does, but then it's reborn in a different form, just like we will be. So to me it's it's quite I don't know, it's quite it's quite difficult to explain, but to me it, it really could be what it is, like if you think of us, like we've got, we've got like hair and we've got eyes and like stuff can, like uh, ears we can hear and all that. Like if you think of the earth, it's got like trees and grass and plants and us can, we, we could be like part of it kind of thing. The water's part of it, the trees are part of it, the sky, the atmosphere, all the creatures, all the animals, all the nature, all the wildlife or the plants, or that kind of stuff. We could all just be part of the Earth's being kind of thing. And uh, it, it would make a lot of sense to me because like, ne like nobody knows what consciousness is really. Like nobody really knows what consciousness is. So, but we, we seem to think we're the only ones with it. But what if the Earth was consciously creating the environment so plants and animals could like be created and grow and all different things so it's quite a deep theory and quite a challenging one but to me it's, it could also be a possibility and uh, I quite like the idea of the earth being alive and oil has been connected to the earth and stuff because I think that's where humanity's went wrong like in the past I don't know, if, but <laughs> you could say forever, but definitely in the past good few hundred years, we just seem to be destroying everything and 
it's like a darkness has descended over humanity kind of thing and I don't know if it's today with technology or if it's just like a like the good and evil and like the balance the yin and yang I don't know but it def definitely seems like we strayed for like working in harmony with the earth and nature and I don't mean all like hugging trees and all that kind of thing it's just about like respecting like each other respect the earth it'll respect us respect the the animals they'll respect us as uh, there is part of the cycle like hunting and fishing and stuff everybody like animals do it we do it the earth does it it does it with like volcanoes and stuff it's all part of a cycle of, like birth and rebirth and destruction and construction and and uh, i suppose like uh, evolution as well so let me know what you think about this one but for me it's, it's why I, it's a theory i think about a lot like is the earth alive and i think it could be but you, you let me know what you think but uh, that's that for anyone that, that's that anyway for this one so i'll catch you soon